So, yeah, that remains my absolute favorite trap in the game. Now, let's see how it works on this other guy that's waiting down here. <laughs> and fire at your leg. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> if that doesn't attract his attention, I don't know what will. But just in case he does manage to get through this, let's keep our shield up. I guess it didn't matter. Alright, so... It's a one-hit kill on them, but I think that's only because he was in the process of making a uh, attack, so it would actually count as a uh, counter attack against him. And that leaves us with this sand-filled chamber with two chests in it. Oh, that's cool. You leave footprints when you walk in here. Huh. <coughs> I'm not sure how many other parts of the game have something like that. Okay, that one was safe. This one we know is safe since that ghost just opened it on his and didn't get eaten. Uh, Alright, good stuff. Upgrade materials and whatnot. However, what I really want is behind this door. And I honestly have no idea how to open it. <coughs> Sorry about all the throat clearing, by the way. I may be sick right now or getting over being sick. I'm not really sure which. Anyway, hitting the door does not open it, so we'll keep that in mind from now on. Uh, let's see, back up here, maybe I missed a button in here. Or actually, maybe it's all the way at the end of this path. I really, really don't try to range up and ranged battle. <coughs> try up. And try up in ranged battle. Something tells me it might be up toward the top of this wall. And I can't see it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well, that is beautiful. Thank you, other people. I would have walked right past this. Okay, so now with any luck, that opened that door and not some other door somewhere else in the temple. Or, uh, sanctum. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, oh, this is getting really annoying. Uh, oh, almost caught myself in the trap. That would have been bad. Alright, so anyway, here's the whole whole reason for uh, looking around for that button. It's a third chest. Nice big metal one containing an artifact from a bygone age. Technically speaking, an artifact from a whole different series. You'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, as of right now, let me just figure out where it actually ended up in my inventory. There we go. Puzzling Stone Sword. Okay, so this thing functions the same as a regular uh, straight sword. I think it's got about the same set as a long sword or maybe even the Hade Knight sword. I can't remember which of those swords had this move set, but it's, it's a decent move set. It's fun to use in. Uh, PvP, because you do get the nice stabbing motion and a good slashing one that hits from the sides. But aside from that, not really too much else in the way of anything special. But it does have that cool glow to it. It looks interesting. But, uh, yeah. Worth, gra yeah, worth grabbing. Oh, and also it does this. <laughs> so, it's totally Ivy's sword and her moveset from the Soul Calibur series. Right down to the beautiful spinning whip spin ballet move thing. It's great in PvP, let's just leave it at that. <coughs> so it functions as a sword and a whip all at once. You can bet I'm going to start using this as soon as I uh, get a second one. I really want to see if it's possible to... Um, well, first off to power stance them, but second to use their uh, heavy attacks, which are how you do the whip moves while in power stance. It's got decent scaling with the uh, decks. Unfortunately, it's not as decent as it looks. When you initially look at it, it may say something like S or A with decks. It's more like a D, really. <clears throat> Ah, 
Ah, don't mind me, just slowly dying on the other end of the screen. Microphone, whatever. <clears throat> Which should match up with what's about to happen on the other end of the screen, where I am dying in there as well. Uh, so let's try this direction, since we're given a choice between the two. This one's got a bug and what appears to be a hole. That was not enough to kill him. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Bug is dead. Hole is still there. <coughs> and filled with more bugs. I think we're going to give that a pass for now. And, uh, let's see. This one's filled with spikes. Big rusty spikes. And an item in the middle. And oh god, they hurt. Who'd have guessed? Ow! Okay, no idea what that was or where it came from. Give me one second just to, uh... Uh... Heal up and then figure out what it is we're dealing with here. Do -do 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 -do. <coughs> yes, I see you behind the wall, but you're not what shot me, are you? Oh, okay, it's one of the Sanctum Priestesses... Priest eye. Priestesses. Scary hex and poison ladies. <coughs> so, these uh, priestesses are singing to Sin, essentially trying to uh, keep him calm and lull him into sleep. I, I would compare them to uh, what was going on with the great old one back in Demon Souls, except Sin isn't really... See, the great old one was a very malevolent, uh, yeah, malevolent, a very malevolent creature. He was there strictly to cause chaos and pain for the world. Sin is really just trying to relax here, essentially. He has this whole cavern system all to himself. These people built up a city around him to worship him. Uh, so the priestesses are saying to him to keep him relaxed, to keep him calm, and to essentially prevent a second uh, situation similar to that that happened before. I don't know if you guys remember when we talked about Yor's ring, but um, Sir Yor had been one of the knights that came in and attacked Sin. <coughs> Until that point, Sin had essentially just been, you know, hanging out, sleeping, that sort of thing. We're going to make a run for it here, because I don't like these guys. And now we appear to be stuck. Uh, yeah, so anyway, just going to try to get past them. Not really sure where I'm going here. Uh, anyway, back to Sin. Sin was essentially just being a very peaceful... Uh, you, you could almost think of him as their deity, kind of. They really did worship him. But when Sir Yor came in and stabbed him, uh, the actual spear going through him caused a ton of poison to just explode out of him and wash across the entire city, just decimating it. So they're saying to him, trying to keep that from happening again, and what the hell is this? Holy crap, this is Jester Thomas from back in... Uh, Earthen Peak. Except now he's a dick. <coughs> Crap, so all that, uh, all the great pyromancies that he used to help us with, um, Mithra are now being used against us and seem to be quite powerful. And these guys follow me in here as well. I don't think I'm getting out of this in one piece. Uh, ooh. Boy, is he dodgy. I can't really seem to get to him with a melee attack, and that hurt. Uh, thankfully, there's only one of... Ow. Ow. Okay, so we're going to try an alternate route instead of going back through there. I want to see what some of the stuff I missed up here was. There we go. So again, these guys are not a problem as long as you can get behind them, or even if you have uh, some luck with the parry timing, you can 
they're actually pretty easy to parry, all things considered. I'm... See, back in Dark Souls 1, I loved the parry mechanic, but thanks to this game, I've realized just how easy they made it for that game. This one, it is not nearly as simple, just because the timing is different on the shields and all. Uh, you can use this little elevator to get up here to a new bonfire. Not actually sure how much use I'm going to get out of this bonfire, but it's here. <coughs> So, from here you can raise up two more pillars to get you over to uh, that tower there. Oh, and I've switched over to a crossbow, uh, specifically a light crossbow, because I was running a little low on arrows and... Well, basically I just like the idea of having a crossbow instead of a bow here. I don't know. Just personal preference at this point, really. I think I did this wrong, so instead we're just going to use this as a perch to snipe from. Unfortunately, this crossbow is not upgraded particularly far, so it's going to do little to nothing for us here. <coughs> And also, unfortunately, I realized what it was that's going on with my voice and my uh, throat and everything. Turns out I'm allergic to uh, cedar trees, which we have a huge one in our backyard. I looked outside in between takes here, and the thing was just exploding with uh, pollen. So that was coming in through the windows, just coating the entire backyard. And, oh god, that arrow reached me just fine. I thought I was safe from it. Alright, so, from here, we're going to try to just fight our way up to the tower instead of using these to get up there. Again, as long as we can get behind these guys, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. There we go. Didn't realize he was alive. Um, hold still. Oh, I was hoping that would stun him. And that's right inside me. Alright. Okay, so I'm just going to request that you suspend your disbelief for a minute here and pretend that that didn't take me another five tries to get through. Uh, so anyway, we made it. We're up to this tower. Hooray. And inside we find one of these little carrier guys. Once again, covered in poison shooting statues. And I'm going to see if I can figure out a better way to go about attacking them than just bashing into them with the sword. So that does not seem to be working. I want to try to aim this better. Okay, got his tail. That's most of the damage we needed. So not quite poisoned yet. And there we go, got his leg. Now then, into... Look closely and try ranged battle. Huh. Alright. Oh, hello. <coughs> Can we destroy you? Come on, just hit it! Okay! Uh, so if you're just joining us, no, you cannot destroy those. Yes, there is a switch hidden behind them. And it opened up a path. So, we got a torch. And a bunch more poison carriers. Let's see if we can just shoot their little faces this time. Hey, buddy. Yeah, right in the face. And tail. And tail. And leg. Nope, wait, yeah, leg. And other leg. Okay. That may be a much safer way to go about doing this, but I'd still like to find a more efficient way if I can. And trying to find a more efficient way has successfully gotten me poisoned. Hooray! Do, 
Do, do, do, do, do, do, do. Nope, stab's not gonna work. A little healing may work here. Uh, jump attack works, okay. Good to know. Now let's just get you out of the way. That's not what I was aiming at. Oh my god, what is that? Ah, oh, the jump attack didn't work. Now I'm mildly distracted by the horrifying things sitting behind me here. I know I really should be locking on to this, but the last time that I tried doing that, it just ended with me consistently bashing my sword into the statues. Which is basically the same thing that's happening here anyway, so, uh, you know. Oh! Oh! Got it. The sweep attack. Okay. Good to know. So! What the hell am I looking at? Friend or enemy? Indeed! Well, it's kind of got a face. Um, huh. You. You. First, I thought it was a tree. Then, I thought it was something stuck in some kind of slime. Now it's looking like it might be a little of both. Oh, 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 that's not good. Sore loser. Okay, well, this should be fun. Huh. Okay, well, that's all repaired and everything. Let's go see how this goes, I suppose. Hmm. Not really sure where he's going to come from, so... Forgive me if I take this a little carefully here. Alright, well, typically we can count on blue phantoms to be total dicks in this game, so... Let's see if that still follows suit in the DLC as well. Right here, buddy. Just bow and have a- no! Okay, uh, let's try that again. Just... Bow and- yeah, there we go, have a nice duel. Oh, you're putting your other face on, I see. Just having a little, uh, pre-game fire belch over there, huh? Alright, well, let's get this over with, I suppose. Oh, you're going to keep your bow out, huh? Alright, in that case, I'm just going to close the distance a little. And now I'm going to back off the distance a little. <sighs> hmm. Also using some kind of greatsword type thing. And a fist. Oh, this should be fun. Alright, get over here. <laughs> 